Hey everyone, this is Todd Hirsch with How HubSpot Works. Uh, today we're going to talk about sitemaps. Uh, so real quickly, sitemaps are basically HubSpot 3's new way to uh, basically create uh, navigation on your landing pages for now. And then later when HubSpot comes out with their uh, content management system, uh, it'll be the way that, that the, um, the, the, the web pages are controlled as well. Uh, that are you can build your own navigation on those pages. You can do different navigation depending on what page you want to do. Um, a lot of different uh, interesting things. So a big advance from the current way that um, navigation is handled in HubSpot now. So um, a couple things before we get started. Uh, the, we're going to talk about just landing page sitemaps for now uh, because that's what exists in the current HubSpot 3 as of February 2013. Uh, a, th a few things that you need to kind of understand first. It's important that you um, have a landing page set up. It's important that you know what pages you want to have in the navigation already set up. And it's also important that you understand that that the uh, sitemaps are controlled by the landing page template that you're using. Okay, so if you create a temp uh, a landing page and uh, you want to be able to um, put a unique navigation on that you really need a new a unique template to go with that so we'll show you how that how that happens later okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to create the landing page that you want to have the navig the new navigation for so go ahead and go to content landing pages <clears throat> and just go through a standard um, uh, create a new new landing page. So you can click on this button. Now see I've created one here called How HubSpot Works Landing Page. So we're just going to go ahead and use that one. The important thing that you need to understand is that you obviously want to create a template or choose a template that has the navigation up at the top. Some of them don't have that. And then what you want to do is uh, you want to edit it. Okay? And you see how there's a button down here that says Actions. Click on that and then click on Edit Template Layout. Basically what you want to do here is you want to create a new template. So uh, we've already created one called HHW template, but what, typically what you'll see here is whatever template you were already you were editing, you'll see something that'll say that, that that template layout name clone. And it's going to ask you, HubSpot's going to ask you, hey, what do you what's the real name you want to call this? Because what you're really doing is creating a new template. Okay, and that's important to understand. So what we did is we created a HHW template. Then you can see in the template here. But see how you can edit each one of these? So this, here's the web page navigation, right? That's what we're trying to, to deal with here. So click on the, on the little pencil, and it'll bring up this little dialog box. And you can change that name of that. You can put uh, root type, uh, maximum number of levels. So you can do sub-levels. You can go three, four, five levels down. Uh, orientation is horizontal or vertical or vertical flyout. Lots of cool little options there. And then down here you see sitemap. Okay, so what you do here is you're assigning the sitemap to this template. So remember we created one called HHW Campaign. That's what we're going to call it. And then we'll click Done. And then up here, don't forget to click on Save or Create. In this case, I've already made one, so it'll say Update. Okay, so the next step is to actually go into the sitemap controller and start um, assigning the pages that you want to show up in the navigation. So go to content, content settings, and click on sitemaps. And you will go right over here. So then what you do is you want to find that, uh, that sitemap that we want to edit here. It's called HHW campaign. And then you want to add some pages to it. Okay. So here's a, a little tricky thing. So when you add a page, let's just get rid of Okay, so I have no, right now I have no links, no, nothing in the navigation for this particular sitemap. And so I'm going to add some pages. So when you click on Add Page, you get this wonderful little dialog box here. Now, what it's asking you here is, is it, first of all, is it's a top level, and typically it will be, but you can, it can be different levels. You can either create a new page, uh, you can use an existing HubSpot page, or you can link to an external URL. So, given the fact that, um, so create a new page, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. But typically, you already have the pages ex uh, already created. That's, that's, you want to link to them. So you can either use an existing HubSpot page. And when you do that, it's going to give you a, uh, a pull down of all the different 
landing pages for now in February 2013. So this, when it's when it says an existing HubSpot page here, what they're really talking about is the new HubSpot 3 landing pages, not the old CMS web pages. Um, if you want to link to an old CMS web page, the way you have to do it is you link to an external URL. So you click on that button, you name it something like um, HHW Resources, and then you put the link in here. Now here's another key point. Uh, cannot be a, um, a relative URL for any um, of any external. So just think about this. This tool thinks of HubSpot, old HubSpot web pages on the old CMS as external. Okay, so you have to put the full URL, including the HTTP. So if I did that, uh, I have a page out there called um, hhw-resources. Okay, so that was the name of my page. There it is, and I'm going to click Add Page. Let's just add a couple more pages while we're at it. Okay, so we're going to click on again. Uh, we're going to click to another one here that I think we have. We call it HHW Videos, and there it is. It's a HHW Videos. We're going to add that page, and then we're going to add one more that we're going to call it Contact HHW, and there it is, Contact HHW. We're going to add that page, and then the next important thing is publish changes. You can either, you can just save a draft if you're just working on it, but when you really want to see it in the page, make sure you publish changes. That's very important. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you've got the the two most important elements. You've got the the landing page with the right template in there, and you've set up the sitemap with the pages that you want. Okay, so now let's go see how it looks. So if you go back to the landing page, how HubSpot works landing page, and you go down here to edit, you go into the editing tool, and you can see now that the pages show up here. The links, the navigation show up here. HHW resources, HHW videos, contact HHW. All right, so and when you click on those links, they obviously go to those pages. So that's, uh, that's how you set up the navigation in landing pages, and hopefully that was useful. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or uh, send me a, a contact HHW message.